Hey everybody, it's James here from GoodGuitarist.com and in today's lesson I'm going to show you how to play Driver's License by Olivia Rodrigo. Now this is a fairly simple tune for the most part, it's just some simple chords. There's one part where there's a B minor chord, but I'll show you a way to do it in a simpler way so we don't have to play the full bar chord. Um, before we get started, later on when you want to play along with the original recording, you'll have to put a capo on the third fret. Without a capo, this song is all like E flat, B flat, like a bunch of, it's it's substantially more difficult, right? So the capo makes it a lot easier, but that's only if you wanna play along with the original recording. Otherwise you can do it the way that we're gonna do it during this lesson and it's totally gonna sound fine. Um, if you find you need any help along the way, I have a few resources. There's my free ebook, which goes over all the basics of chords and strumming. I have my complete beginner's course, which takes you through that all step by step, you know, in a in a much more guided way. And uh, there's the chord chart available on my Patreon. And uh, otherwise, let's just get started with the chord shapes. First, we have a G chord. Then we go to E minor. And G to E minor is a really simple switch. We have our G, we leave our first finger down, and then we can make our E minor shape. Then we go to C. And for E minor to C, we can leave our middle finger down. So I have my E minor shape, I leave my middle finger down, I rotate, and I make my C chord. It's important that you that you do that little rotation. You know, if you look here, my hand is kind of on that angle for the E minor shape. And then for the C chord, my hand is like that. So it goes from there to there. And that's just something to notice, you know, your thumb is gonna have to move to adjust so that you can get the pressure in the right spots instead of, you know, putting all that pressure on your wrist. Now there are three more chord shapes in this tune, but we don't need them until the chorus. So let's just stick with G, E minor, and C. And let's take a look at our strumming pattern now. It's very simple for this tune. It goes like this. All I'm doing there is a regular downstroke, and then a small downstroke that we'll call a root strum because we're aiming for the root of the chord shape or the thicker strings. And I'm just alternating between those two strokes. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. The best way to get it is to count out loud. The odd numbers are the big strokes. The even numbers are the little strokes. One, two, three, four. Just do that over and over again. Try it on each chord shape. For C, see here how my, my ring finger is just underneath the thickest string? That mutes it so that I can just strum all the strings the same way and I won't accidentally you know, get that string. You could also lightly get your thumb touching it that way. You know, muting it is preferable. If you can't mute it yet, don't worry about it. It's not the biggest deal in the world, but it does make it sound a little bit better if you can. So we have our three chord shapes and we have that basic strumming pattern. Now let's practice putting the verse together using those really simple components. We're gonna do it really slowly. You'll see the chords and everything at the top, counting along nice and slow. One, two, three, four. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One. So we count it to four, four times on each shape for G, E minor, and C, and then two times for G. And that's the verse. You know, there is one little thing that we can do to make the rhythm a tiny bit more interesting, and that is on the occasional beat four, do a down up. So you could go one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. 
You know, so as we're counting along, one, two, three, down, up on four. And it's most effective right before the chord switches, but if you're still working on chord switching, don't worry about it. Anyways, that's the verse. Next, let's take a look at the chorus. We're gonna need three new chord shapes. There's A minor, D, and then a B minor chord. And you can play the B minor bar chord. You know, if, you're, if that feels fine for you and you have no problem switching from G into that shape, I do recommend it. And if you're interested in pursuing bar chords, because they are amazing, they let you play all those sharp and flat chords and everything in between, I have a course, Bar Chords Made Easy, which is a really gradual path from getting from a really basic shape that you can play all over the neck, you know, that works for a bunch of tunes, and then we build up on it until it turns into the bar chord. So there's that. I'll put a link for that down below. But if you just want a simpler way to do it, we can play B minor like this. And we'll look at it in context. It happens after a G chord. So we have our G shape. We remove our middle finger and our pinky finger. So we leave down these two fingers, our index and ring. And then we just place our middle finger on the second fret of the G string. And that makes, on the middle four strings, B minor seven. So just practice that going from G to B minor seven. And just like with the C chord, my index finger is lightly touching the underside of the thickest string. And my ring finger is lightly touching the high E string. For the most part, the chorus is very similar to the verse in that we hold each chord shape for quite a while, but there is one point that we should go over ahead of time. We're gonna go E minor, D, G, B minor, C. So we would do each one for two strokes. I want you to just try that a little bit yourself, going down, root, down, root, down, root, down, root, C. Just try that a few times. And there's one other part we should go over ahead of time. When we get to the A minor and D chords, we strum them once and then we count the rest of the beats. So we go two, three, four, two, three, four, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So we just strum them on beat one and then we let them ring out as we count in our heads eventually, but for now we'll count out loud to make sure that we nail it. And those are the only two parts that you need to be concerned about going into this chorus. Otherwise it is just chords and strumming. So let's just try this out. You can always just watch, see what's going on and then try it with me after. Starting off on C, one, two, three, four. Here's that E minor part. Oh, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, and then we strum one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So that's the verse and the chorus. Next, we're gonna learn the bridge, and this part is simple, just like the verse. It's just chords and a strumming pattern. So let's just try it. We already know the chords, we already know the strumming pattern. You can always just watch, see how the bridge goes, and then try it with me after. We're gonna do it nice and slow, starting on E minor. One, two, three, four. Two, three, four. One. C. 
same thing again. E four, E minor, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, C, two, three, four, one, two, three, going to G, two, three, four, one, two, switch to D. Cool. So the only part we haven't taken a look at is the outro, which is very similar to the end of the chorus. It's just three measures. It goes like this. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. And then the song fades out. So work on that. And then when you're ready, we can assemble the tune. We're going to play our own little version of it. But before we do that, let's go over how the actual recording goes. I just have my chord chart from my Patreon here. We start off with the verse two times. Then we play the chorus. And then verse, chorus, bridge, chorus, outro. So this one's pretty simple. You know, we just take the four parts that we learned and we put them in a particular order. You can see it right there. I want you to write that down and listen to the recording. Once you've practiced this all up and you have some idea of how the song goes, listen to the recording with that in mind. That's called the form of the song. It's like the shape of it. You know, and that'll help you play along with the entire recording. Now, for our purposes, we're just gonna practice going verse, chorus, bridge, and then we'll play a little bit of the chorus. And that way we'll get every transition that we need. So we'll start off with the verse. One, two, three, four. bridge to
All right, so that's how you play driver's license. If you need any extra help, don't forget about my resources, my free ebook, my complete beginner's course, Bar Chords Made Easy, if you want to get that B minor chord. Other, oh, and that chord chart on my Patreon. Otherwise, have a fun time practicing, and I'll see you soon.